You hear a lot about Tesla's basic autopilot feature, but what is it really capable of? In this video, we'll explore the features of basic autopilot. This will give you a pretty good indication of the features available on basic autopilot and what it's capable of and what it's not. When we first got our Tesla, I was pretty jacked about the capabilities with basic autopilot and I really couldn't wait to test it out. I've used it both on the highway and in city driving and we'll explain what it can do and what it can't. While I do feel it has some advantages with highway driving, it definitely takes the tediousness out of a drive. It has some limitations. So what is basic autopilot? Well, first off, basic autopilot is a standard feature on every Tesla, and there's no cost for this feature. Basic autopilot really consists of two features. Traffic aware cruise control, which matches your speed to the traffic around you. Traffic aware cruise control is very much like a normal vehicle with cruise control. However, there's one key difference. When the vehicle in front of you slows down, your Tesla will slow down to match the speed of that vehicle. When that vehicle speeds back up, your Tesla will automatically speed back up. Traffic Aware Cruise Control gives you the ability to set your max speed compared to the speed limit of the road you're traveling. And you also have the ability to adjust how closely you're following the vehicle in front of you. The second piece of basic autopilot is called Auto Steer. Auto Steer combines the functionality of Traffic Aware Cruise Control as well as the ability to keep your Tesla in a clearly marked lane. As long as there's painted lanes on both the left and right side of the vehicle, Auto Steer will keep you within your lane. So that's really the extent of the features that are available in Basic Autopilot. Now there are some limitations with Basic Autopilot which limits its usefulness. In theory, Auto Steer sounds great. In reality, based on real world driving, it can be kind of frustrating, especially in heavy traffic. Anytime you get behind a slower vehicle, and you want to pass that vehicle, auto steer will disengage. As soon as you put your blinker on to change lanes or merge into a lane without using your signal, auto steer disengages. You have to pass the vehicle, merge back into the lane you were in, and then re-engage auto steer. If you end up doing this over and over, especially in heavy traffic, auto steer loses its usefulness for me and I end up not using it. Now note, I didn't say anything about navigation with basic autopilot because it doesn't exist in basic autopilot. If you want that feature, you need to upgrade to Enhanced Autopilot for an additional $6,000. Now Enhanced Autopilot does give you some additional features that I think could help with the frustration of Basic Autopilot. If you're looking for auto lane change capabilities or navigation on the highway or auto park summon or smart summon features, Enhanced Autopilot will give you those capabilities. Here's what a real world drive looks like while I'm using Basic Autopilot on the highway in a construction zone. So don't expect anything super magical with basic autopilot. Now don't get me wrong, basic autopilot does have some usefulness, especially on those longer highway drives. And, and I do appreciate the fact that it takes some of the tediousness out of a drive. Having said that, I find in heavy traffic when I'm making constant lane changes to pass vehicles, I'd rather be in control of the vehicle myself and I don't even use basic autopilot. Now I did order enhanced autopilot on my rear wheel drive model three. So I'm looking forward to some of the additional functionality that's included with that. And we'll see how that compares to basic autopilot in some real world driving exercises. So stay tuned for those videos. That's about it. I hope you found this useful and we'll see you guys in the next video. Music